within this lesson. Our objective is to use divide by 10 patterns for multi-digit whole number division. Here we have this problem, 360 divided by 10. First thing that we'll do is we're going to look at 360 in unit form. 360 in unit form is 3 hundreds, 6 tens. And then let's go ahead and divide. We're dividing each of these by 10. So we have 3 hundreds divided by 10, and then we have 6 tens also divided by 10. We know that 100 divided by 10 is 10, so 3 hundreds divided by 10 is 30. And we also know that 110 divided by 10 is 1, so 6 tenths divided by 10 is 6. We, so we have 30 along with 6, which gives us 36, which is our answer. Here's another problem, 240 divided by 10. We'll go ahead and break apart 240 into unit form. It would be 2 hundreds and 4 tens. This time, however, we'll look at it with unit disks. And then so again, that's 2 hundreds, and then we have 4 tens. And so again, we broke apart 240 into unit form. But we're dividing by 10. And then so when we divide by 10, let's think about what happens to each of these unit disks. When 100 is divided by 10, we get 10. So for this one here, if we divided it by 10, we would get 10. And the same thing would happen with the other unit, 100 unit disks. When we divide 10 by 10, we get 1. And then how many times would we have to do that? Do that once, twice, three times, four times there. And then so we finish modeling what we have here. So again, we took apart 240 here, divided it by 10, and looked at each of those parts. So this would be our answer. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So 240 divided by 10 is 24. Okay, it's time for you to try. Go ahead and use place value disks to go ahead and divide 320 by 10. So model it with place value disks so that you can go ahead and see your answer. Pause the video. Did you set up the problem correctly? We take apart 320 into its unit form. We have three hundreds disks and we'd have two tens disks. And then of course we would divide by 10. And then we divide each of those by 10. 100 divided by 10 is 10. And that would be three of those. And then we'd have two of those where we had 10 divided by 10 equaling one. So our answer is right here. You write in your answer here is 32. Here we have the problem 2,400 divided by 100. This time we'll go ahead and use a place value chart to go ahead and model this problem. So first off, we'll look at 2,400 and place that into the place value chart using unit disks. There's two thousands in there, and then there's four hundreds. What happens when we divide by 100 to these units here? Thousands divided by 10 would be 100. One of those thousands divided by 100 is equal to 10. So we have two of those thousands divided by 100 equaling two tens cross those out so that we don't accidentally reuse them. Let me look at it. Let me look at our answer. We have a hundreds here and we're also dividing by a hundred. One hundred divided by a hundred is equal to one. 
And then so that happens one, two, three, four times when we are dividing by 10. So our answer then is two tens, four ones, which is 24. We also could have looked at this another way. How many hundreds are there in 2,400? If we rewrote that, it would be 24 hundreds, where I could have drawn 24 hundreds there. And then if we divided that by 100, of course, we would get 24. Set up a place value chart and solve this problem. Remember to pause that video. Here's the solution. First off, you'd have three thousands, and then you'd have two hundreds. Drawing this a little differently this time. When you divide a thousand by a hundred, you get 10. And the same thing would happen with each of these here. And actually we should have a unit disk there rather than having its value. So 3,000 divided by 100, of course, is 30. And then we'd have each of these hundreds divided by 100. And again, it would move two of those places to the right when you divide by 100. So your answer is 32. Now, if you didn't draw it the same way, I understand that because that's not how it is that I had showed it to you originally. 32 hundreds divided by 100 is 32. That's 3,200 divided by 100 is 32. Here I have another problem, 32,000 divided by 800. Now, this is different than all the other problems that we've seen so far in that we have 800 there, and that's not a power of 10. However, can we think of 800 as a factor of, with a factor of a power of 10? In other words, if we concentrate on that 8 there, this is actually 8 times 100, right? 800, if we broke it down, we could break it down into 8 times 100. So really, what we're doing is we're dividing 32,000 by 100 and also dividing it by 8. Now, this should look familiar to you, where we took 32,000 and divided it by 100. How many hundreds are there in, in 32,000 there. So remember, each of these thousands, we had 32 thousands, and then we were dividing it by 100. When we take a thousand and we divide it by 100, we get 10. So 32 thousands divided by 100 is 320. But remember, we're still dividing by 8. So we have 320 divided by 8 at this point. If we evaluate that expression, then we'll have our answer. 320 divided by 8 is 32 tens divided by 8. And then so we have 32 divided by 8, which is 4. And we have 4 tens as our answer then, which is 40. So 32,000 divided by 800 is 40. Okay, it's your turn to try. I'll go ahead and help you a little bit here. Remember, we're first going to go ahead and break down 600 by expressing it as 100 times another number. So we go... 18,000 divided by 100 
divided by 6. So that 600 was expressed by 100 times 6. Then you'll start with this here, and then after you figure out that answer, then you divide it by 6, and then you'll have your complete answer. Pause that video. Okay, 18,000 divided by 100 is 180, and then we'd have 180 divided by 6, which is 30. Because 30 times 6 is 180, you could use standard algorithm at this point when you have a single digit to check that work. So 18,000 divided by 600 is 30. Here I have another problem. 140,000 divided by 7,000. And again, we'll keep our dividend the same. Except this time, we're talking about thousands. So we'll divide this by 1,000 first. And then how many thousands are within this number? There's seven of them. So we'd still have to divide by seven. When we take 140,000 divided by 1,000, how many thousands are there there? There's 140 of them. And then said so we'd have 140 divided by seven. 140 divided by seven, that's 14 tens divided by seven. 14 divided by 7 is 2, so that's 2 tens, and 2 tens is worth 20. So 140,000 divided by 7,000 is 20. Here's a place value mat showing what we just did again. Here's a place value mat showing what we just did. Again, we take 140,000 place it into the place value chart, we'd have 100,000, and then we'd have four ten thousands. Okay, so we have that there. And so it's 100,000 and four ten thousands. If we divide it by 1,000, then this 100,000 here, not one place, not two places, but three places, a hundred thousand divided by a hundred is equal to one hundred. That's actually supposed to be one thousand. Each of these ten thousands, when we divide it by a thousand, would be worth ten. So that our answer, so far, we have 100 with four tens. 100 with four tens, but we still have to divide by 7. And then so to divide by 7, we would continue, and then remember we regroup one of these hundreds over to um, 10 tens. And then so this one's worth 10. And then so basically we would have 14 tens here divided by 7. 14 tens divided by 7. And then so 14 divided by 7 is 2. And then so that's why it is that we would have 2 tens or 20.